Just like the fire armor sets, the mist armor sets in God of War also belong to the best armor pieces in the game. Let's take a look at these mist armor pieces in this video and I will also tell you how you can easily get them. Of course, spoilers for an end game looking Kratos, so if you don't want to see that yet, come back later. You're still here? Okay then, let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. You could say that the mist armor is better than all the other sets in the game, but just like this set, the max level will be level 8 when you upgrade the gear pieces two times just like with the fire set as well so in the end these gear sets will be all level 8 but you still want to get the mist set before that because it starts at level 7 with three socket options while the other armor pieces start with two gem slots there are three different variants in terms of stats the endless mist one focuses on defense with some strength and vitality as well the cursed mist one got a lot of defense runic and some strength and the one that I'm using a more balanced deadly mist variant got a lot of defense but also a good amount of strength and runic and vitality of course in the end it's up to you which one you prefer all the sets have a regeneration essence perk that gives you health back after a small period of time and this also works during fights but it's mostly handy during your adventure in Nilfheim since in this area you will be fighting a lot with a limited access to health of stones. If you're not familiar, in the realm Nilfheim, I already touched on this area in my best weapons video, but in short, you will have to run through the mist, open chest, and with the loot from those chests, you can craft one of the armor sets, but you have to get out of the mist first in order to secure the mist echoes you get from these chests. Because if you die, you lose everything you got during that run. You also have a timer, and of course, when that runs out, you also lose, so you don't want to take too much risk in order to claim the rewards especially early if you don't have the mist armor yet or are not a high enough level yet i was level six thanks to one of the wire sets i got and i also did some side missions before i went into the mist to be able to get to this level and upgrade some of the other gear pieces but yeah since enemies can go to level eight and the further you go into the mist the harder the encounters will be i totally recommend that you just skip them if you think they are too hard so you do not risk dying of course a resurrection stone is super handy as well but still be careful with the fights because you will lose everything and of course your time because you don't need to fight in order to get all the echoes there will be enough chests that you can find without using your weapons mostly in the middle of the traps there will be a chest that you can reach but it of course depends on the run because every time it will be randomly generated a great source for resources is a chest I also mentioned in my best weapons video that is in the middle of the area where you need to hit three bells faster after each other hit the one that is the hardest to reach first and then hit the two other ones and then you will open the chest to get a lot of resources without having to fight so you can also do this on level six and with the echoes you get from this chest you can then craft the mist armor you'll need 3500 mist echoes in order to craft a wool set of course the choice is yours but it is of course smart that when you got for example 1500 missed echo pieces just get one of the pieces already so you will bump up your level maybe so the fights will be easier as well because of course while well, my tip is to skip the fights if they are too risky but if you are able to kill the enemies you will get way more chests so way more missed echoes in a short period of time especially the early encounters should be doable to get some nice loot and there you have it how to get the mist armor set in god of war one of the best sets in the game i totally recommend that you get it for doing some end game activities but it will be interesting to see how they all shake out when you have them all on level 8 I want to take a look at another awesome end game set as well. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. So totally subscribe for everything God of War. I got more tips and tricks coming your way. And of course, when we got updates on a new game plus mode or something like that, I will let you know. So subscribe to miss nothing. Check out my video on the awesome virus set. Drop a like to support the channel. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.